You know, according to the comments, this motorcycle right here, the CF Moto 800 NK, is the most unreliable motorcycle on the face of the planet. Well, I have put this thing through a pretty brutal 600 mile break in and we are officially going to do the first service and see how nasty this thing actually is and whether or not it stood up to the hardest break in I've ever, ever put a motorcycle through. Okay, so I know some folks at CF Moto probably watched that intro and they're like, well, we're never sending him a motorcycle ever again. But you guys actually said that I could do this stuff. So let me show you what's going on and let's go through what I've actually done with this bike. So as you can see, this thing is covered in road grime and dirt and all sorts of nasty stuff because I have ridden this thing in the rain. I have accidentally taken it off-road, and I have taken it to Circuit of the Americas and done some seriously hardcore laps on a bike that was not, I think it had like 300 miles on the clock at that point in time. This thing has done and seen more things in 600 miles than most bikes do in their entire lives. Now, no matter what I do to this poor motorcycle, it refuses to complain. It just puts up with all of it. So I'm pretty confident that this thing is gonna look good once we start servicing in it. And to do that, we've got all of the parts right here direct from CF Moto. But before we do that, we have to take this dirty sucker to the car wash and clean it up because this is filthy. Not bad for a three dollar pay and spray. It's a pretty stingy timer at my local one though, unfortunately. It's literally like three minutes for a buck twenty-five or a buck fifty. That's not great. In the meantime, I'm gonna let my seat dry off with a quick libation before I get going because I don't want wet butt cheeks. All right, time to get to work. I don't know what I'm doing but I've never let not knowing what I'm doing stop me from doing something that I don't know how to do. Unpack that chestnut. All right. Let's see what we're working with here. Uh, why is there no drain bolt? <laughs> um, is it one of these? Great start. Mercifully, CF Moto has really detailed uh, owner's manuals online, so I need to pull that bolt, that bolt, and this oil filter. So all that comes out. See if I can do this without getting hot oil all over myself. Okay. Need a bigger bar. It looks good though, honestly. Nothing hokey or weird in that oil. So if we're gonna use nastiness of oil to uh, talk about the quality of the motor and the build, um, I'm not seeing anything in this oil screen that is concerning. Nothing seems untoward or out of place. There's a couple of little specks in there, which uh, are gonna be hard for the camera to show right here. You might be seeing those. Uh, they're not 
it's not like metal shavings. It's just goober. This guy's even cleaner than that one was. Nothing scary. Next step, we gotta replace some O-rings. So let's actually open up the box CF Moto sent. See what we got. Fresh paper filter, that's gonna go on the table. One, two, three jugs of oil. Looky there, made in the USA. <laughs> Good Lord. And then there's the gaskets for the, uh, for the strainers. And then there's the gasket for the filter cover. So let's replace those while we got them out. Another thing that's really interesting is how much KTM, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it, is written on the inside of these parts. Right there, KTM R2R. These are basically all just KTM bits and bobs. So these bolts on this guy are like four foot pounds. So there's literally nothing holding that in place. That's like four foot pounds. It's just that. These on the other hand are 14. So what I did was I set this to 12 because it's getting to the upper end of this torque wrench. I set it to 12 and I'm just gonna do click plus a, click plus a bump. So, whoops, <laughs> maybe I should hold it on the freaking bolt. Click, plus a bump. Click, plus a bump. All right, now it wants three quarts of oil. Huh, interesting. Don't fill the motor too fast. Did I just way overfill this engine? I've never had that much oil come out the top of a motor before. Um, that's how much oil it's said to put in the bike. Okay, a note to potential future NK owners out there. Don't just pour all the oil in there. I mean, get close and then cap it off, turn the motor over and then add the rest because it was all sitting here. I ran the motor for like a second and it all drained out. So I guess the oil pump just needs to circulate uh, before you can top it off with all of the oil. So um, it might be like a thimble low. So I'm gonna go idle it for a second and then do an oil level check. While I wait for the oil to settle on there, one thing I always like to do is try to put the oil back in the uh, cork cans that it comes in just as a sort of shorthand to make sure I'm not consuming anything. Uh, luckily, three quarts go in, three quarts came out. So we have about the exact amount of oil, accounting for a little bit of spillage here and there, uh, that went into the bike that came out. So we're good. Now we're gonna speed run the rest of this first service. I've got the checklist over here. <clears throat> Engine oil and filter, check. Oil strainer, check. Idle. Is 
a little high. Oh, now it's coming down. We're good. Throttle system. I know the throttle system's working. Brake discs. They're fine. I test rode it earlier. Brake pads. I know they're good. Brake fluid level. This one's good. That one's good. Brake hoses. I know they're good because the brakes are working. Brake levers. They're fine. Tire condition is fine. Tire pressure is fine. Wheel bearings. I'm not pulling those off, but I know that it, I, you'd feel it if the wheel bearings were wrong. Rear shock absorber, it's already set, that's good. Coolant level. We're good. Radiator fan function, I know that works. Steering bearings, I know that's fine. I'm not putting the diagnostic connector in, although I do think you need to put the diagnostic in to clear the uh, maintenance message. Moving parts, I do need to inspect the chain, bolts and nuts, they're fine. Cables and wires are fine. Okay, cool. I think we're good. All right, let's check this chain real quick. It wants 1.18 to 1.57. One and a quarter, and that's a full inch. That's a little over an inch. Sweet. Chain feels good. I'm gonna lube it though. Alrighty folks, I have finished servicing this motorcycle right here in my garage. It really wasn't all that complicated. The biggest thing that I noticed was when I was filling it back up with oil, it needed to cycle one time so that the main clutch case there would actually drain and allow me to put more oil in there. I wish I'd have known that before I got in because um, I did spill oil all over the pipes and stuff. <laughs> However, everything else is super, super easy and anybody could get this job done. Have I noticed anything else weird throughout the service process? No. The we maybe the weirdest thing other than the oil was the dashboard says that the maintenance is of maturity, which I think is just a localization thing. Um, if I were working at CF Moto, I would just make sure that the dashboard thing just says maintenance due instead of services of maturity. That's, that's weird. Or maintenance is of maturity. It's, it's an odd thing to say. Based on how hard I rode this bike during the break-in, I would have expected if there was a problem, to have seen it. It went on a racetrack. It was doing flat out in fifth, fourth, fifth, sixth gear on the back straight of Coda. I rode the crap out of this thing during the break-in and it, it, was, it was fine. It still works just like the day I picked it up. However, it is worth pointing out that this is a sample size of one and I have only put about 620 miles on this motorcycle. So for those of you in the comments saying that this is not great data, you're right. But I would be confident recommending this motorcycle based on my experience, just in terms of maintenance. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. It was kind of just a chill maintenance day on this motorcycle. It was kind of fun to actually wrench on a bike that works instead of one of the broken bikes in my shop, like making the F4i work was a giant pain in the butt. So I enjoyed doing the first service on this bike. Let me know what you guys think. Is this a decent sample size? Is this a decent indicator of the quality of the motorcycles? Are you still on the fence or did this help you feel a little bit more comfortable perhaps buying a CF moto? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.